Okay, guys, so we're going to finish the um, foldable that we started on types of ecosystems in class today. And so we already kind of went over terrestrial, which is where most of the ecosystems are. So now we're going to go into freshwater. And remember, for each one at the top, you write the definition and the examples. And then on the next slide, you'll draw, to the best of your ability, a food chain. So we'll label them in case you're not that good of an artist. So a freshwater ecosystem are centered around water that is less than a 1% salt concentration. So because there are two types of water on Earth, there's salt and fresh, fresh water has to have less than 1%. Examples of these types of ecosystems could include ponds, lakes, streams, rivers, estuaries, and swamps. Now you're probably wondering what an estuary is. An estuary is pretty much the mix of fresh and salt water. Wherever a river dumps into that ocean, that area where the water mixes is called an estuary. But again, it needs to kind of be in that less than 1%. So here's a picture of a food chain for freshwater. We start off with phytoplankton. Now, this is actually magnified so you can see it because these are single-celled organisms, which are microscopic. But we know that because it has this prefix phyto, that they must be the producer. These are protista, protista which are photosynthetic one single-celled organisms, which is why they're not in the plant kingdom. So these are our producers. They are consumed by this zooplankton. And if you look at the prefix zo, like zoology in a zoo, that means animal. So these are animal-like protists that eat the photosynthetic plankton. Then you have smelt, which are like tiny little fish, like those little ones you see in the lake. And then a trout eats the smelt. And then finally, an herring can eat the trout. So you have your producer, primary consumer, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer, and fourth level or top consumer. So go ahead and pause the video and draw, just so you know, I mean, draw little fish and then draw a big fish if that's going to help you and label them. All right, the last type of ecosystem that we're going to go over is marine. Marine is the world's largest ecosystem and they are made out of salt water. Examples include oceans, coral reefs, intertidal zones, salt marshes, and the sea floor. So these are all the different types that do take place in the same ocean, but can count as different ecosystems, pretty much depending on the depth, except for salt marshes. Here is a food chain. So we have one-celled life, which again we call photosynthetic plankton, or it could be algae, pretty much it's algae if we're in the ocean. So algae is consumed by these shrimp-like creatures, which we call krill. Krill is eaten by small fish, which then can be eaten by mackerel, tuna, and then to a shark. So we have our producer, primary consumer, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer, fourth level consumer, and then our top predator, which is the shark. Okay? So this is pretty fast and simple, but if you need to pause the video at any time, you can go back and just understand that there are three types of ecosystems, marine, terrestrial, and freshwater. So when you get to school on Monday, you're going to have some design time to work on your animal's ecosystem. So the first thing you're going to have to figure out is which one of these three does it fall into, and then which example of the ecosystem, and then we'll go from there. All right, I'll see you Monday in our PJs. Bye.